A Virginia newspaper ran an abortion advertisement for a New York abortion referral agency. Running that advertisement violated Virginia law. But did Virginia law violate the First Amendment rights to freedom of speech and of the press? Were commercial advertisements entitled to any constitutional protection to begin with? That was the question for the nation's highest court in the 1975 case Bigelow v. Virginia. In February of 1971, Virginia Weekly published an advertisement for the Women's Pavilion, a New York abortion referral agency. The advertisement explained that abortions were legal in New York and that there were no residency requirements in place. The advertisement also promised confidentiality and said that the agency would make all of the necessary arrangements for women seeking abortions. Subsequently, the state of Virginia charged the Virginia Weekly's managing editor, Jeffrey C. Bigelow, with violating a state statute that made it a misdemeanor to encourage abortion by publication or in any other manner. Bigelow was convicted and ordered to pay a $500 fine. Bigelow appealed to the Virginia Supreme Court, arguing, in relevant part, that the statute violated his First Amendment rights to freedom of speech and of the press. The Virginia Supreme Court disagreed, citing Valentine v. Crescenson, a United States Supreme Court case involving a banned submarine advertisement, for the proposition that paid commercial advertisements were unprotected by the First Amendment. Bigelow appealed again, this time to the United States Supreme Court. 